I'm Willow Bradner, the accidental psychic. I get asked often um, how people can get more in tune with their own personal intuition. And I think it's an excellent question. First, I want to start with absolutely everyone has an intuition. Absolutely everybody has a spirit, a soul, a, high, a higher purpose, a higher self. Um, and we all have a little bit of psychic in each of us. That's part of the, the accident to it is we, we all frankly are accidental psychics walking around here. But in order to hear that intuitive voice and in order to understand more about your psychic, we have to kind of go backwards. We have to, we have to start at the beginning like everything. And so I want to move you into this idea of the anatomy of overwhelm. Because in order to isolate the unique um, intuitive voice, we have to first peel back the layers of what's keeping you from hearing it, what's, what is distracting you from your actual intuitive voice. So this is my belief. We have overwhelm that happens in our lives every day. And it's sort of these three stages of control with a couple stages of avoidance. So in control, often we like to control what has not happened yet. How many of us love to stay awake at night and forecast the future of tomorrow? We've got a business meeting, we're traveling, we've got places that we want to go. And so we future forecast and we'll lay awake at night trying to figure out what it is that we can control tomorrow. But we can't control it. It's just sort of a waste of time, right? And then there's this other side of control, which is controlling other people, which if any of you are married, have a husband, even a family member perhaps, have you ever tried to should on them and tell them what they should do or control them in some way or let them know that you know better for them? It's a lot of wasted energy because it's not ours to control actually. And we'll talk more about that in our next video. Then there's number three, and I call it the weather. You know, we can't necessarily control the weather. And that's the really big picture stuff. That's like when you're afraid of what's happening on the news and you're fixated on what's happening in the world and the news, it's not actually in our control. We can't fix it and we can't solve it. We can only do us. We can only be here now with ourselves. So what can we do and what is in our control is the ultimate question. And how do we peel back those controlling layers so that we can really get present and really listen and really tune into our own intuition? Now, the other piece of this, the piece that I think sometimes is often ignored is this other side of control. It doesn't feel controlling, but it's actually avoidance. And it's sort of like you're asleep and you go into this sort of possum state. And that is to say that you're avoiding what you're afraid of, you're avoiding the things that you don't want to do, or you're avoiding because you don't know what you want to do. And in order to again get present and to hear your intuition, you just have to turn that little switch on and come alive and, and really wake up and start start taking responsibility for the things that are happening in your life. So in our next couple videos, you'll get to choose your own ending novel and see which version of control you are. Which version are you most spending your time on and how can you peel back those layers to be able to really hear and isolate into your intuition? Because really once you figure out the problem and, and the, the thing that's keeping you away from your intuitive voice, the more you can peel that off and really learn how to listen and pay attention when your intuition is coming in and speaking to you. Moving into our intuition gives us time to really create our passion projects and move into the life we've always desired. So I really recommend watching these next few videos that we have and really figuring out what is keeping you from your intuitive voice so that you can also live your best life. Thanks you guys. We'll see you on the other side. Peace in.